And we're about to find out as we get into game one of this best of three set between Anarchy and Longao. Germany versus the UK. And already Longao taking a lot of stage control right here with those projectiles. Look at that gyro play, just immaculate. What, what I found really interesting was immediately uh, Anarchy retreated. You know, he, he gave up that stage control from Longao, giving him that respect that he thinks he deserves. And that really outlines an important difference between Rob and uh, Toon Link. Whereas Toon Link's camp game might be more versatile and overall perhaps a little bit stronger, it does require more setup. That bomb needs to be pulled and then he needs to get into position yeah. to use it to put pressure on his opponent. Whereas Rob, he just throws out Ooh. the gyro just like that. Oh, or you see some a, ledge uh, traps coming out right here from Longao. Oh, throws the bomb down. I'm not sure if I like that. Blowing himself up, maybe just stopping that approach from Long Out. Right, and Anarchy just trying to find a way in at a laser. Such a strong anti-camping tool goes through all projectiles in the game and comes back to hit you right when you least expect it. Okay, so a strong commanding lead for Long Out right now. Uh, he, he's play, he's just playing this matchup perfectly. He's making sure that Anarchy can't set up his zone, his right, zone of yeah. like bombs, arrows, Boomerangs, he, he can't set that up because the gyro is just being so disruptive. Oh, let's drop oh, right there, okay. the gyro. And that gyro interaction was so, it, I mean, it's it's very hard to get a hang of it. And especially uh, for someone like Anarchy who hasn't played in a little while, he might not be familiar with the specifics of how the gyro works, right? Exactly. Because w as soon as you throw the gyro down, it will knock you in the direction that Rob was facing yes. when he released the gyro. Yes. Uh, so you often see Rob use that to set up his ledge traps, and right there, Anarchy... Ooh, very nice Ooh. edge guard there by Anarchy. Very well done indeed, and that really is what he wants to go for. Utilize those just disjoints to put a pressure on the mid-range, right? And also, if you're gonna if you're gonna Ooh. take advantage of okay. Rob anywhere, it's gonna be on the in the offstage game, because yeah. he only has that limited amount of fuel. Oh, I like that decision there. That was really smart to throw the gyro up rather than actually chasing Anarchy himself. Yeah, and it shows a lot of confidence because Rob is, uh, Rob's strongest tool is that gyro. Throwing it up does mean it is going to be unavailable for a long while. And, you know, it just, it just, it just sends a message saying, I can beat you yeah. even without utilizing this tool. Oh, has he, uh, did he burn his jump? He burned Ooh. his jump. Still managing to live with the magnet hand style. That really is one of Longo's specials. He really likes going oh, for those no, down airs, tech. but right there. That Z drop, wow. Two stock by Longao coming out swinging with that robot of his. And so the new taking advantage of the old. Yeah. And that is, I mean, you got to give it to Longao. You can mm -hmm. see the hours of work he has put into his character, Absolutely. into his play. Absolutely. And this is where Anarchy, you know, of course, he's been going to his locals and whatnot. But the game evolves so quickly so nowadays. Mm -hmm. Um, and, you know, Longao, he is on the forefront of the Rob meta game. Yeah. You even saw him use Side P as a reflector that <laughs> match. No one does that. <laughs> For good reason, but it worked out. He can it make did, it happen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, what's interesting is actually the best Rob in the UK, Lucrecio, right. does do that. Oh, for sure. He, oh, he okay. actually uses Side B in neutral. So, I mean, I don't think Anarchy's any, got any real experience against Lucrecio, only against, you know, I was talking about uh, Mr. Spuddles. And so Mr. Spuddles is very uh, down throw up air reliant. You know, he, he's, he's very beat boot reliant. Right. He's very neutral based. So perhaps doesn't have the experience of this different play style of Rob that yeah. Longao is bringing to the table. Longao is really good at controlling the zones directly around him. And, uh, you know, let's see if it works out against this Marf because Marf is a good zone breaker using those long disjoints because while Toon Link does have those disjoints, the range is relatively lacking. And already we can see Longa once again taking a lead, gets that guaranteed down throw up air, goes for the juggle, but Anarchy, very smart, just swinging into it. Oh, and that up B as a combo breaker. I really like the switch to Marf here, actually, from Anarchy. Yeah. He realized last game he couldn't get the, the zone set up that he wanted to because Long Hour just knew how to beat that. So he switched to the Marth so that he can completely switch up Ooh. the type of game that we're going to be yeah, playing. Yeah, and here. his juggles and advantage state are already, they're already on point. Look at all this damage on Long Hour. He's actually ahead 
which is an entirely different story than what we saw last game. And we all know Rob does have issue with fast characters. He does have issue mm -hmm. with big disjoints. His disadvantage state is one of his weakest states. Absolutely. Absolutely. Here, another Ooh, ledge trap, another but attack. that almost never kills. So right there, Aniki getting away with murder. <laughs> down Ooh, throw. Down throw. Immediately beep boop, yeah. but Aniki had the read right there. Air dodge very well done. Aniki's still in this. He has to find that kill quickly, however. And like I outlined at the start of this set, Marv's inconsistent kill power can really bite him in the ass against Havis. And all that rage for Longa right now is going to do a lot for him. Very, very close right there. Uh, Anarchy just not quite managing Ooh. to break the zone for a little while, which has allowed Long out to get back. Oh, that was an untackable! Wow. Anarchy taking the lead for the first time in the set in terms of stock count, of course. Yes. And wow. Oh, okay, just reading the ledge roll, getting it up straight away. Yeah, that was that was straight coverage, my man. That was a gyro on the normal getup and then covering the roll all by himself. That's you know, that's Rob's specialty. And I mean, what options was he going to be able to take from like a ledge hop, right? So that he just covered all of the good options so that he was only left with a bad one. Right. And then punished him for taking one of those good options. And yeah, Rob's punish game. One of the best, you know? Oh, oh and I think... I think he burned his jump. I think he burned his jump, yep. Unfortunate. What an unfortunate result. That, that match was getting heated. Yeah, no.